Hey guys, I uh, just want to share. I just want to share a quick technique. I'm here working on music for. Um, I'm trying to work working on a soundtrack and you know different sounds for film or television. Working on this particular sound for like a film for TV. And I found out something that um. So when you buy, when you download or when you buy loops or sounds from the internet maybe sometimes they don't come in the way you want it it may be four bars or they don't start the way you want it okay so i'm hitting this if you if you see when i hit this there's a delay so this is like the epic movie trailer impact sound there's a delay in it all right and i want it to match with what i'm doing which is this So, I'm trying to place this sound in it. See when, see, when I hit it, it doesn't come as I want it to come, alright? Sometimes, I've seen a lot of people get confused. I used to be, get confused on, oh, how do I make this sound? Oh, you know? So, what you simply do, you go to your sampling, because everything that came in comes in as a sample if you buy it. And so you got an example, then you push the start. Push the start to boom. Bring the start closer. So when you touch it on impact, boom. Right away on impact. Alright? So I'm gonna do some a little bit more on insert. So as soon as I'm as soon as I'm hitting it, I'm getting the impact. Alright? So there you go, there it is, truncate. So I'm just gonna truncate it, hit apply, and boom, that's it. It doesn't change anything you have, it just changes it on this you know pad, on this group, and that's it. It doesn't change the main thing that you have. So when you import the same sound for another for another track, for another music you're you're making, you're you know you're gonna have to do the same thing if you need to, alright? So if you buy samples or download samples from the internet or buy from folks, from people, you can always come into the sampling and edit, make it yours, all right? Don't forget to do that because you got to make it yours because keep in mind, everybody else is buying the same thing. And as a producer, you got to tweak yours so yours sounds different. If you're trying to use it for like a bit, if it's a loop, you might want to stretch the loop. You can stretch the loop by in the sampling. You know, you can you can reverse it. You can, you know, duplicate. You can stretch it. Those stuff you can do, all right, so that it, be, it you make it yours. But this is primarily for um, editing just small samples like this to make your sound. You know make the impact hit while you're hitting it all right for lack of better words all right till next time peace out thanks